trust our opinion. Don't trust our opinion podcast. It's your boys back in the building. It's your boy OJ. It's your boy Kev. Here we go once again. Uh, Yo, it may be something different. Maybe something a little different, man. It may be something different. You're trying to fly today. Yo, you, yo, yo. Pop your collar. Pop right your collar right, right quick. Kind of nice, you know. Coming real, um, real soon, man. Real, 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 real soon. Um, you know. I want everyone to comment their favorite color. If you checked out our live, I asked you guys right. to uh, uh, do that earlier. But comment your favorite color. What you want? We got shirts too coming real soon. Hoodies coming real soon. Um, and if you subscribe to the Patreon, don't trust our Patreon. We got something special for you. If you subscribe to the twenty dollar tier, you gonna get a free shirt, bro. Mm. You gonna get a free shirt, bro. So cool. So you gonna get the content, our twenty dollar content, mm. and you gonna get a free shirt. Yep. But wait, but wait, there's more. There's more. If you subscribe to our twenty dollar Patreon, we sending you dick pics. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> HD, three angles, in four K. We got soft, mid, mid, you know, and then fully. Yeah. Facts. Okay, everything was true, but the last yeah, part. That was, that was a joke. But yeah, it's coming real soon. Ten dollars uh, off. Yeah, yeah. So the hoodies. Yeah. So this is what we rocking right now. You know, it's getting a little cold. It's a little chilly. You know, so you want to be nice for the spring style. Time. You know, you want to yeah. represent your boys, show some support. You get ten dollars off for the hoodie. Yep. If you Plus, subscribe to the Patreon. Yep. Link is in the bio or description. Why are you yeah. saying bio? Description. Yeah. The comments. Yeah. Yeah. Link will be in the comments. All right. So right now, we got Louis C.K. We haven't done Louis C.K. in a while, mm -hmm. and this one is called In Words. And forklifts. I fell asleep at a forklift. Yeah, nigga fell asleep at a forklift. Y'all already know how we feel about, like, dudes be saying the N-word for no reason. Like, what's the point? Like, And that's the ER. Yeah, that's the ER, too. That's the ER. So. But you, we open-minded, you know, we're going to just see what's going on. Yeah, let's, see, let's get into it. Mark Twain once said, a man who always tells the truth doesn't have to remember what he said. And that's great. But Mark Twain also said there once was a big black guy named Nigger Jim. So, I don't know, 100% of the things he said were perfectly awesome. Yeah. Really, Mark Nigger Jim, you're going to go, that's the best you could do. So you can tell ain't no black people in that audience, bro. Ain't no <laughs> black people in that audience, bro. Now, we know what people in the comments gonna say. Yeah. You guys are so fucking um, sensitive and shit like that. that. Yeah. But you it's guys like, are black. Why are you offended about Yeah, that? you know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm not offended. It's just like. I'd like to see where the context goes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we've laughed at people saying the N word on multiple occasions. Like if you look at our um, uh, uh, South Park one, oh, yeah, when yeah, when yeah. Um, um, when Randy, Randy when, when Randy said, said niggers, mm -hmm. that was such a good joke. Yeah, because the joke has to be like really really good. Yeah, it has to be a really good joke. Yeah, so we're gonna continue and let. We're gonna see how he. Yeah, how he unfolds how he it, right? Now just calm down. I know you guys be like, I know you guys love Louis C.K., bro. Get offended. Yeah, like, you, you guys said get nigger to them. Like, like you said don't trust. Don't trust our opinion. Yeah, get Gavin, Gavin, that's pretty good. Nigger Jim. Yeah, well, you know, Gavin, Gavin, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, it's a little on the nose, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, Gavin, that's pretty good. 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 Yeah, well, you know, Anyway, so while we're in this area, <laughs> now that I know you guys are cool, nah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying about the audience. Like they was really, really cool about it. That's why I was saying that it, it couldn't have been no black people in that audience. Or maybe it was, but maybe yeah. they was just like. Yeah, I think I like I like how he was testing the waters before yeah. he started to swim. That was pretty, twice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but um. <laughs> You know, it, it was dope. That's pretty funny. You know what I'm saying? So let's continue. Yeah, you know? that, was, that was pretty good. <laughs> 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 Alright, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
is a story that takes place, I'm going to tell you the story, it's kind of a messy story, it takes place over a lot of years, but it, start, it started with my friend Mike, who told me the story, it happened to him back in the 90s, uh, he was going home for Christmas, and uh, he lives in Connecticut, he grew up in Connecticut, in some shitty shit town, in shitty, shitty Connecticut, and he didn't like going home, he's one of those people, he came from a place, doesn't like it anymore, he goes back, he doesn't know how to handle his family, you know, and he came from a family of white racists, and he doesn't like going home, but it's still home. So he went home for Christmas one year, and everybody's hanging out during the day, talking, having lunch, and his father and his brother both work in this factory, and his brother's grousing about his day at work, and he goes, yeah, and then this fucking nigger fell asleep with a forklift. And then my, my friend Mike heard that, and he went, oh, God, why, why am I part of this people? I hate this. And he felt bad. And then that night, he's in the kitchen, and he's having a warm milk or whatever, I don't know why that's funny, but what that says to him. Yeah, because he's a pussy. <laughs> he's just sort of having some time with himself. And his cousin comes downstairs. He's staying. His cousin, he likes his cousin. That's the one person he always felt connected with. And his cousin's like, what's wrong, man? And he says, well, geez, I come home and I hoped that everything would be, you know, normal. But then my brother says, oh, you went to the factory and the nigger fell asleep at the forklift. And his cousin goes, Oh my god, the nigger fell asleep with the forklift? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first part of the story. First part, man. Tells me that. Surprisingly, I'm not upset with this. You know what I'm um, saying? Me, I, I don't, I'm not upset with this because I feel like the story has context behind it and it's a. It's <laughs> it's so <laughs> speaking more. Speaking I'm more. not feeling it. I don't <laughs> think Louis C.K. is racist. No, he's not. There. But you, I, so would you be more comfortable with him saying, "This N word fell asleep at the um the forklift"? Would you rather that? Um, I'd rather him just not say it. I mean, he can say N word, but he can say whatever the hell he wants. Yeah. The day. But I don't know. It just don't, especially the ER. It just it just, it just don't sit right with your soul. He's just saying it and saying it and saying this like. Yeah, it is. He's too comfortable. <laughs> really too comfortable. I and. And but I don't think he's racist. I just think he's like, all right. Let me. Here's the thing with um, people. I'm I'll be puzzled when but I, people get offended uh -huh. that we're getting offended. Yeah. Of a racist word that's been used. Here. But I'm I'm a, I'm gonna say this right. I know yeah. for I know for a fact mm -hmm. that when we leave here, we're not going home thinking about this shit. Of course not. You know what I'm saying? But, like, that's all I'm saying. But I'm not upset. That he's saying it. I'm not upset at all. It's just the fact that people will get mad at you for being mm -hmm. offended mm -hmm. of somebody saying a word, a white person saying a word mm -hmm. with all that history. Yeah. How you gonna be mad at me? Yeah. And you know what's the worst? <laughs> you know, you know what's the worst yeah. part? When people be like, "Well, I got a black friend." Yeah. Like, Your black friend got a perm. You know what I'm saying? Your black friend got a bob or some shit like that. He he, he ain't the hood, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't the hood for real. So like. Like, when you say things like that, like, oh, I got a black friend and he doesn't get offended. You should either. It's like, yeah, bro, you're, you're, you're you black. Respect, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Like, like yeah. About how he's just not listened to by anybody in this family. And then later on, I get a job writing on a TV show for Seth the Entertainer. Great guy. And he had a show and he hired a writing staff, half white writers, half black writers. So at lunchtime, we talk about race. It was just that we'd have these provocative, interesting conversations trading notes about race for white writers and black writers. And I told that story. I told the whole thing about the guy, and then the cousin saying, and then one of the writers, a black writer, he goes, there's nothing worse than a nigger falling asleep in the forehead. <laughs> making it harder for the rest of us. Still, nobody's quite hearing what my friend was going through. And then, <laughs> about a year later, I'm hanging out with Dino. Dino's Greek. He has no dog in the race. He doesn't carry the white. He's Greek. Greeks aren't white or black. He's just, he's just got a big nose and he stands there. I told Dino the whole story. Who, who, who was the nigga that said that? Who was the producer that said that? Bro. It's probably Terry Crews. <laughs> probably Terry Crews that said that shit. Let the 17 seconds play out. <laughs> and then the black 
And then Dino says, how do you fall asleep with a forklift? <laughs> so. I don't know if it's because I'm black, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't, like, I, I am, I'm a person like, yo, listen, if you have to say the word to get the joke off mm -hmm. and, but that's the thing. When you, when, when thing can be offensive, mm -hmm. it has to be really funny. That's why like when, when, um, you go down that lane, mm -hmm. not only does it have to like, well, let's be honest. White people going to laugh at it. You know what I'm saying? White people going to laugh at it. It is what it is because that's kind of like a, a joke within like maybe a, a, the white community. I'm not sure. If you, if you, if <laughs> I don't know, I, I would be the first person to tell you, I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's a joke in the white community. I don't, I literally don't know. Mm -hmm. Comment if, and correct me. I don't know. But listen, uh, when black people hear the N word, come, I'm telling you guys, most black people think like this. If you're going to use the N word in your, in your bit, it has to be, Belly aching funny to the black community, bro. Yeah. Just like we brought up the example when South Park did that whole shit with the niggers, mm -hmm. it was fucking hilarious. You know, like you, it don't matter if you was black or white, you had to laugh at that. You right. know, but when it's just like, oh, nigger fell asleep at the forklift, it's like, mm, yeah, like okay, oh, Jim. yeah, it's nigger like, Jim fell asleep at the okay. forklift, and yeah. then Terry Crews said, why nigger falling asleep at the forklift? He making it hard for the rest of us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and this is why we call it don't trust our opinion for right. reasons, people, because right. we go, we, it's our opinion, and if you don't fuck with it, then I get it. You know what I'm saying? We, Listen, we we're not going to find every video funny. Yeah. Louis C.K. is a great comedian. Like I personally said, I don't think he's racist. Not he's not racist at all. But you know, sometimes you just say shit that you know, like, you know it's going to get backlash. Like if, if we say we say things that we know might get backlash. Yeah, this is gonna get this is gonna this get is gonna get backlash. It's gonna get backlash. You know. Yeah, but yeah, that's so, pretty much it. Yeah, so don't try to pit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, chill out on us in the comments, man. Just calm down, man. Just calm down. But yeah, don't try to pit, man. We up.